Today is day one. The day we begin our box truck build, our next home for who knows how long. Hopefully this one will last a lot longer than our faithful Big Red here has lasted us. But we're gonna start today with actually cutting in the Max Air Fan and installing solar panels. And the main reason for doing so is because we, as you can see, are still in the desert. And this is gonna be where we plan to build out this box truck for the foreseeable future until Big Red is out of our hands. So as long as we have the van, that's our home. We are living out of it. We don't have any power source other than our van. So that's why we're trying to get our solar solar system up and running. We have all of the panels and we have a couple of batteries. We'll go into detail in just a little bit about exactly what we're installing, but um, we need some power to power this build. So let's get busy. I know Kurt's ready to roll. How all are you right. feeling about this, honey? All right, how I'm feeling? I'm feeling anxious to get going um, because of my background and being an electrician and being in business. I'm that go, 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 time's money sort of thing. So I keep telling myself, relax, slow down. But uh, yeah, just really want to get get going. Because I know once we get going, then um, that's kind of the hard part, getting everything organized and, and hit the ground running. So let's, let's get this hole cut and get these panels up. So this will be just a little tricky. Kurt and I are going to have to work together to get the fan in. Um, as you can see above me, we've got ribs on the ceiling. And we specifically requested when we had the box built that there were extra reinforcements put up there, knowing that we would have the solar panels, extra weight. So we're going to have to cut through one of these ribs to mount the fan. I'm going to be underneath here. Kurt's going to be on the roof. And let's just hope that this goes without any hiccups. It's always nerve wracking cutting holes into something brand new. <laughs> I don't think that'll ever get easier. You know, we'll cut this off. We're gonna cut this off. So we'll run a board out and then we'll run one over and we're gonna box this thing out so that the mount up there, so it screws into this and pulls it tight. And then we'll make sure we water seal. Okay. That up there. Okay, so just kind of a plan. These moments always tend to stress me out more than I think they do, Kurt. As I see on the underneath of the box truck, the weight just kind of pressing down onto the ceiling, and I can see the beams giving a little bit where he's cut them. I just want to hurry up and get through these sections because, you know, my heart races just a little bit. He knows what he's doing, though, and he's mindful of his safety, so um, I don't like these moments. They stress me out too much. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that part's over. Can you see the hole? <laughs> Let there be light. I'm glad Kurt's the one up on the roof and not me cutting this because I don't know if I could hold the steady hand. Um, but now we got to make sure that it's reinforced. Kurt's about to cut some wood and we have to make sure that the fan fits. So that's kind of the big moment of truth, right? Fingers crossed. are like this and then we got the two nines Give me a wave or something. Ready for lunch. Half, it's uh, half time. All right, looks good. Turned out great. Run a wire through there. I think that'll work, man. Good job, Jay. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Luke. You're great, bud. 
I'm glad that's over. Always stressful cutting holes and things that are brand new, like I said. Uh, Kurt did a great job. Everything fits. First try, didn't have to really refine anything. Good way to get started. Now we're hungry. Time for lunch. What are you most excited about, uh -oh. Luke? Helping uh -oh. Dad build it. Yeah? I'm Me too! <laughs> I'm excited about hoping Dad build it too! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> well, you're getting old enough now to be able to be useful, so that's actually kind of exciting for both of us. Yeah, I don't want that to hold. Uh, with a few things. All right, so now for phase two of the roof, we got the Max Air fan installed. We have five Panasonic panels of the Evervolt. They're 370 watts. And we're gonna take these panels and install them up on the roof. And one way we're gonna, I think we're gonna get them up is up to the roof, the easiest way is we're gonna use the van. So we're gonna take a panel, get it up on the top of the van, and then we can move it from the van on top of the box truck. And just make sure my measurements are good, everything's double, triple checked. Then we'll bring it back down on the van. We will drill our holes uh, in the brackets and mount the brackets to the panels. And then put the panel back up on the roof, mount it, and just repeat. We have five of them. So we're gonna have a total of 1,850 watts of solar, which I think will probably be more than that. Um, usually the Panasonic's put out more wattage especially in the summertime when you get really good sun angle, they put out more than they're rated. So I'm really excited. We may even get uh, 2,000, maybe even more than that peak um, out of this system. So very excited to get this thing up and running. All right, guys. So as most of you, well, maybe some of you know, when you're, when you're doing something like this and you, and you got such tight margins, you gotta make sure everything is spot on. You got it. What do they say? You measure 10 times and drill once, sort of thing. So, uh, the lines right here are the joist for inside. Uh, Morgan was nice enough to make these marks here so we know where the joists were. So, for example, I did, I was trying to do thirds or half and half. So, it'd have been nice to put a bracket here on the inside. But what do we have? We have the Max Air fan. So, I'm gonna come out and do this bracket on that joist. Now, and most of you too, or some of you that knows a little bit about solar panels and installing them, these aren't the proper brackets. There's actually brackets for these. They're just, they're just too much for my blood. These are nice gusseted L brackets from Home Depot. They're a fraction of the cost and we'll do the same thing. And on top of that, I knew I was going to have to drill my own bracket holes in this thing because the stock ones I would, I just knew were going to get in the way or weren't going to be on these joists. So I want to drill through these joists so I have the bolt going through the joist so that it's very secure. I don't want to just bolt it down to this thin aluminum up. So that was the main two reasons why I went with just a generic L bracket from Home Depot. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just, we're triple, quadruple checking just to make sure we got everything dialed in up here. Um, so this goes as smooth as possible because there's no redo. Once you drill a hole, you know, and mount this stuff up, it's, it's done. Maybe please hold the thing better. We got our first panel up. Woohoo! We only had to measure about, what, 15 times, but you know what? We only had to drill once too, so good job, Daddy O. We got the first one up. It's getting late and we're running out of daylight and it's starting to get a little chilly here in the desert, so.
We are going to clean up, call it a day. Not yep. bad for day one. We have four more panels to do. So hopefully tomorrow and the next day we'll get those done for sure. And then we got to hook the batteries up. Yeah, we got a good little system going. So the hardest is the first one. I think we'll rip these other ones out. And plus I don't have to cut a big hole in here. So I think we'll be good, man. Shouldn't take us maybe a half a day, three quarters. Yeah. We'll be done. Yeah, not bad. First day's work. Good morning, day two of our build. Yesterday was a good successful start. We got one solar panel mounted. We got our max air fan installed and sealed up there pretty good. Today, our objectives are to get the rest of the solar panels up there. So we got four more to do. And hopefully we'll have a, a, a lending hand here this afternoon to help us out. Um, the kids are actually helping out as much as they can anyways, as much as we'll let them. But we got to drive the box somewhere tomorrow. So we're hoping we can get as much done on it today as we can. Uh, but some exciting news. We got a phone call last night of somebody who is really interested in Big Red. And it looks like we may have found a new home for her, which is exciting news, answered prayers. We've been patiently waiting for that, and it sounds like this is a good fit. So, um, fingers crossed, all goes accordingly. We have to figure out some logistics in the matter of it all. We plan to rent a house somewhere, hopefully here in the Metro Phoenix area, maybe further south near Tucson. We just gotta see what's available. And get everything out of the van, put it in the box, take it over to the house, and so forth. Uh, it sounds like the couple lives in Montana, and we're willing to meet them halfway, so um, we just got, we got a lot to figure out. <laughs> we got a lot going on. And we're here in the middle of the desert, trying to build this thing so you know if we can find a house that'd be all the better so um one day at a time let's get to work four five that i have two more that's going to go on the other side and i just need these regular ones down we got three to go halfway there oh, two to go. oh we got two five. sorry <laughs> we're doing five panels no, I can up. add I promise um, two to go but we had some help show up and we had some help who is tall it helps to have friends with a little bit of height on them for these instances so major thank you to Nina Trevor from Fort Vine if you guys haven't checked out their music you need to we'll link down in our description below because they are worth checking out you won't be disappointed I promise oh, thanks Jen say hello to the world hello world we gotta take you everywhere we go I know I'll be also, a little merch girl I'm not the height here what she was talking about just Trevor <laughs> yes this I don't guy. know what I'm doing here <laughs> you're you're helping supervise <laughs> Get that, there you go. Oh. Slide down. Okay. Lift it up. You got it? Got it. Nice. That's a big solar panel. Might also add. <laughs> I might also add that it's nice to have some friends with a little bit of muscle too. Uh, that definitely comes in handy because sometimes you just gotta muscle through things and I'm not saying I can't, but you know what? It's just easier with. This is when she's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm the muscle here. <laughs> you put two of us together, and you know what? We'll make a good team. So 
So the tricky part about getting these last two panels on is that we are running out of room on the roof to actually maneuver to get to the panels, especially the inside where the fan is. And the roof is just a sheet of aluminum. And we had them uh, at the manufacturer double up on the ribs on the inside for this reason to be able to support a little bit more weight knowing the panels were going to go up there and occasionally we might need to get up there to clean the panels. Um, although we'll probably not have to, you can't walk on the roof, it's not quite that sturdy, you kind of have to sprawl out a little bit, but getting to the inside is tricky and um, that's when it helps to have some people that are long and can reach things. So thanks Trevor, Nina, for coming to our rescue. We definitely appreciate it. Hopefully these last two will go up without a hitch. Trevor's working with Kurt right now to get those on there. His arms are much longer than mine and he's got a little bit more oomph than me too. So he can reach things a little bit better. So good timing guys. If you can, can you, can you pick up and get it over the max air and you'll just rest it? Can you grab it out here? There you go. That's plenty. Yeah. Perfect. You got it? Oh, 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 bro, you're so bad at this. You really do. All right. Okay, Trevor, so. What's up, dude? Really All right, we had another helper show up just in the nick of time, right as we're about done installing the solar panels. Glad you can make it to uh, help us out here, Sir William. What are you talking about? I came to rock crawl. <laughs> I came to rock crawl with the boys. Uh, dude. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> Jeez. You, mean, like, you wanted me to work? He's not here for us. He's here for the boys to play. You going? You going? Perfect. All right, we are almost done. The boys are just tightening up the last few bolts on the final panel on the back side here. And wouldn't you know it? Gotta get Sir William on camera here. He did do some work for us, so, you know, thanks, buddy. He it's up. a rare occasion. <laughs> you showed up at the last minute to put the last bolt in. I tried that. to time it right to where there was nothing left to be done. <laughs> He's pretty good at that. You kind of have a knack for doing the least amount of work possible, Just but somehow still skating by. Yeah. Hmm. When, what's the secret? I don't know. Anyways, things are shaping up good, and it is 4.17, so Almost not bad. <laughs> not bad for a day's work. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're done, man. Everything went pretty smooth. Uh, took probably a good long day with two people. Um, we had a, we had some extra help. We had Will show up in uh, Fort Vine. Pretty simple for me. I'm an electrician, so not too bad. Uh, like I said, good long days worth of work. We split it into two half days. All right, so like Kurt said, that's gonna wrap up our solar panel install. So stoked to finally have this project underway. It's been a long time coming. Thank you guys for sticking with us through this lull. We're gonna start ramping up these videos now. We got tons coming your way. We've got the floor next and we're gonna start framing out the inside. We got wiring, we've got insulation uh, and all the goodies in between. We got our work cut out for us. We got a lot to do. So stay with us. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think. Do you think we got enough solar up there? Or do you think we could have squeezed another panel in? <laughs> we'll catch you guys on the next one. Okay.